Oh, yes, darling. Welcome to Metaton Plays Dream Daddy, a dad dating simulator. It is I, the fabulous Metaton, here to answer all of your dream daddy needs. I know, I know, it's been far too long since you and I have spoken, darlings, but here I am, finally here to grace you with my presence. <laughs> And of course, I had to choose this game just based on the premise alone. A dating simulator with um, such good looking men. Oh yes, Tom, how could I miss this? Now then, before we get started, mm, okay, so can't adjust much in the options, but oh well, at least we know things are about to get steamy up in here, right? Let's get started, shall we? Make sure to sleep under your tent so you don't sleep on the rocks. Cool all that then. Gas is cheaper in the suburb. Very well. Oh, who's this sleeping on the job? Is this us? Quite the sleepy fellow, aren't you? Oh. Oh dear, looks like we have some trouble waking up. Hmm. How should I approach this? Might as well wake up fabulously. Mm. I finally open my eyes and sit up. I'm lying in the middle of the living room, spooning a moving box. I yawn and stretch. Morning, Manda Panda. <laughs> Is this supposed to be my daughter? Oh, dear me, you have got to work on that outfit, dear. Seriously, that jacket is so last season. Aww. Yikes, Dad. Breathe. Breath. Go brush your teeth. Tip 64. Get whatever job you want. Just make sure it includes health insurance. Oh, darling, that's a given for Metaton Industries. By... Oh, excuse me, I was trying to read that tip. So that dad. Oh, so we get to build our man? Ooh. Well, now I guess I have to make him as fabulous as possible. Just like yours truly. Let's see. Hmm. No, let's see. Ooh. That's a nice shape. I wonder what sort of hair options we have. Of course, it has to be jet black. Like yours truly. Ooh. That little gold streak is rather dashing. But sadly, I'm going to have to decline. Let's see what other hairstyles are similar to my own. Oh, yes, darling. Oh, I feel like I've seen this one before, but I'm not sure where. Either way, it's good to remember this one for later. Oh, but I'll be taking this one. It just screams my name, dearies. As for the eyes, let's see. Oh, my. Feeling a bit kawaii, are we? Ugh, if Alva's down, do not tell her I said that. Let's see. Ugh, ugh, no. Ugh, creepy. Hmm, that looks like me whenever I wake up from beauty sleep. No, nuh-uh. Oh, please, can we do better than this? No, better? Hmm, not a lot of good eye options here. Oh, well... Suppose I'll stick with these. These are the best looking. Hmm. Let's see. No, I guess it only appears to use detailed eyes. Hmm. I do want to have pink eyes. I mean, those do look... Oh, wait a minute. Now that I see them with pink, those actually look really nice. Alright, let's get a nice nose. Ugh! Needle nose! No, thank you! That one's not half bad. Oh, but that one's even better. Oh, I'm sticking with that. Let's see the smiles. Ooh. Mm, yes, darling. That's the kind of smile that says, I am going to make your dreams come true. <laughs> that one just looks silly. Ooh. That's a good one, too. Lots of fun options, I see. They really got the customization down. All right, I'll stick with this one. The brows seem a bit too thick. Might just be me, but I think we could do something a little better. And of course, the color is completely off. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I'll stick with that. Let's just change the color. There we go. Facial 
facial hair. Oh, darling, no thank you. I am perfectly fine the way I am. Hmm, should I wear glasses or not? Hmm, none of these styles really capture my essence, so no thank you. Hmm, no piercings either. Let's see what sort of outfits we have. Hmm, a bit too basic. Ooh, that looks like it could look really nice on a handsome young man. Oh, but that jumpsuit and that cape! Oh, magnificent. Ooh, I like the bad boy look. <laughs> Those eggs certainly have some interesting placement. Ooh, really fancy flowers. Ooh, the suits though. Oh, that's nice, but we could do better. Hmm, I don't feel that style. Oh, this one looks nice. Looking good, Daddy. Name that dad. Um, let's see. What should I name it? Well, of course, it's going to be Metaton. <laughs> because who else would it be? Now, if I could actually type this keyboard, that'd be nice. Let's see. Metaton Dreamer. Seems fitting to me. Let's get started and be that be dad. That dad. <laughs> It's better to be early than to be late. <clears throat> Unless, of course, you're fashionably late. <laughs> Did you fall asleep packing? I got most of it done, I think. Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed, except for one. Wait, straggler. What's in it? Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos in a little photo right. album. Whoa! I haven't seen these in years. I pull out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile and begin to look through. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> and we begin looking huh. through it. <laughs> That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. <clears throat> hmm. The only way your father and I could get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on you. But whenever we tried to take them off, you'd start crying again. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. Nice. Halloween, when you were maybe four. <laughs> oh my god, that dragon costume. You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon, so you went with both. Princess dragon. <laughs> That's ingenuity for you, darlings. Dress for success. Mm -hmm. Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. Mm. Right, yep. Definitely repressed that memory. And this was you in your horse face. Uh, Dad... I believe you named that plush horse Sir Horsington the Brave. Oh, no. I don't think that was his. Amanda lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatch it away and hold it above her head with my superior dad arms. Mmm, yes. Although, who needs arms when you have legs like these, darling? Nice try, but this is important blackmail for later down the road. Yeah. Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you and your ska band. Ouch, kid! The scabulous manifesto had a chance back in the day. Honey, no it didn't. I look off into the distance and reminisce about that rad horn section. Ugh, could you be any more tacky? Hey, it's Emma P. Aww. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing those two up. Dad, Emma R has been my best friend since I was seven. Give it, like, a little bit of effort. Oh, right! Emma P was the one who... Ooh. What sort of embarrassment shall I give her? Mm -hmm. Ooh, this one sounds rather nasty. Light of fluid, tennis ball, tennis racket, right? Dad, that was you. Oh, right. I was a wild child. That's not nearly as wild as what I do on my cooking show, darlings. Every night at 8pm. I was six when you did it. 
Okay, Amanda, I wasn't aiming for the police station. It just happened that there was a police station in the vicinity of where I wanted to hit a flaming tennis ball. Dad. Yeah, I remember you explaining that to the police. They didn't believe me either. Ah. Anyway, I gotta show this to Emma R later. She'll get a kick out of it. The first photography award you ever won. Yeah, and it got us a $20 gift card to make Fridays. And then you got food poisoning from the cheesy tostada blasts. I think you mean food poisoning. You know, with a Z. <gasps> Dad! Still can't drive past McFridays without gagging. I can't blame you, the food is terrible. You should go with the MTT brand burgers instead. Still proud of you, though. Amanda reaches down, deep down into the box and pulls out one last mm. photo. Neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo for a long moment. Oh. I finally decide to break the silence. It's kind of a funny story. The day we brought you home, we got into a car accident. It wasn't anything big, just a little fender bender in the parking lot. But of course I was freaking out. And the little lady who crashed into us was freaking out. I didn't know what to do. But your father... Oh, man. He holds my hand and looks me directly in the eyes. The calmest I've ever seen him, he says. It's okay. It's all gonna be okay. Ah. Uh, he was right, you know. I stare at the picture for longer. Maybe too long. It's moments like this where I think, what if this was us, Papyrus and I? I shudder to think if anything bad ever happened to him. I miss him, and I know I'd miss my darling Papyrus. If you're watching this, darling, know that I love you. I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. She pats me on the back. Come on, Pops. We gotta finish packing. The moving van won't wait forever. You're right. Huh. Amanda and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. So many memories here. Hard to believe your father and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. Hey, remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? You always had very strong arms. Hey, remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? <laughs> I do remember that. That's my girl. You are a very imaginative child. <laughs> In this family, you have to be. Yeah. Hey, remember when I broke the back window blip? We get it, Amanda. You break stuff. Just like Daddy would want you to. <laughs> and there'll be plenty more stuff for me to break in the new place. Memories to make and stuff to break. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I watch my daughter grow... Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Wrong tense. <clears throat> I watched my daughter grow up in this house. It will forever hold a place in my heart, but it stings a little bit to leave it behind. I'm ready. The moving van begins to pull away and I get the car into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear in the rear view mirror. So... So what? Mm -hmm. So sell me on our cool new pad. I clear my throat and do my best cheesy announcer voice. <laughs> of course. Nestled in beautiful, scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features... Not only are there bedrooms for your sleeping pleasure, but couches and floor space where you can, yes, catch a wink. What a deal. I mean, if sleep weren't for the week. You sleep more than anyone I know. I admit my faults, Pops. I keep it real. Anyway, it's also smaller than our last house. Cozier, one might argue. Good spin. I think it's great. Won't we be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to so I don't have to waste gas? And I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know. Amanda, you know you're gonna have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? Seriously, if I can do it with a pair of wheels, then so can you, darling. Uh, not gonna happen, Pops. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their altitude. Oh. Altitude? Altitude! Oh! I cannot read tonight. I think I might have needed those glasses. 
I don't know how to do that either. Have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. Mm -hmm. So you won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn? You are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. Oh. I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. Yeah, you're real. Don't you dare. Senior. Mm -hmm. Dad, I know where this is going. Citizen. <laughs> Got that one from Pappy. I'm just going to ignore that. But I won't forget it. So what item... Bleh. So what's item number one on the new house agenda? Well, first we'll need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. I still have to install the washer and dryer. We need to go to grocery shopping. Mm. Pops, cool your jets. You have to promise me that we're going to take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay, you're right. We'll get some work done and then check the area out. We pull up to the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly... Oh, hold up their cell phone on! Ugh. The lawn is freshly mown and the for sale sign is still in the yard. Hiya! And with a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. <laughs> Brings a tear to my eye to see that she takes after her daddy so well. Nice form, sweet pea. Mm. I got a problem with authority. I'm so proud. <laughs> you go get him, girl. Huh. Man, all that karate chopping tuckered me out. I could really go for a sandwich. An ice cream sandwich. Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. Let's see. As much as I would like... Ugh. Seriously, I need glasses! Ugh. Either that or Alpha needs to get my eyes checked out. This is ridiculous. As much as I would also like to enjoy a delicious and healthy ice cream sando right about now, we got work to do, kiddo. And we need to make it snappy because there are five sealed crates of DVD box sets blocking off the bathroom. And I gotta pee real bad. Well, don't let the entire cast of all 13 seasons of, of Shark Tank, but with actual sharks, stand your way. Let's get to it. Stand up for yourself. Don't let anyone disrespect you. Damn right. Anyone tries to disrespect you, give a face with your metaton legs. I get to work on packing the various boxes around the living room. A couple of hours pass and I get some good work done. The washer dryer unit is both washing and drying and we can actually walk through the living room without tripping over boxes. First visitor already? I walk over to the door and open it. Hello. Oh. A handsome, clean cut man stands at my door, brandishing a plate of cookies. Hello. Oh, where are my manners? My name's Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor. Oh, yes, hi. I'm Metaton. Uh, that's what my name is. Oh my god, are you serious? I would not be this shy in real life. Oh. I saw the moving van and thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter Christy wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. Joseph leans in and whispers, Ooh, Sweet nothings already? I'm not ready for such attention. Mm. But between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate <laughs> chips. We both share a laugh. <laughs> Kids, right? Yeah. Wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. Mm. Well, thanks for the cookies. Oh, Amanda disappears with the cookies. Amanda, come back! And she's gone. Oh, that's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. <laughs> Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. Children in general are just... <laughs> tough. I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to try and raise more than two. I have four kids. What have you done? And seriously, good sir! How much work have you been doing in the bedroom? Seriously, one's plenty, but four? Oh my, you certainly seem like you get quite a lot of action. Must be that blue sweater. Although I must say, your taste in pink certainly has my attention, darling. Oh, uh, I meant- Don't worry, you didn't mean to be rude. Oh no. This is the first neighbor I've met, and my social life is already in a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. 
Oh, honey, no, 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 no. We are sticking with this. Uh, yeah, okay. Hey. Is the missus around? Uh, Mister, actually, and, uh, no, not anymore. He died. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, no, no, it's all right. Oh, someone turn that off! Seriously, get production in here and turn off that cell phone! Ugh. So unprofessional! Ugh. Studio could use a new budget! Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. I'm sorry, can you close the door real quick? I look at Joseph quizzically, but comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise not to talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for the cul-de-sac, and I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? That sounds great. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. We shake hands to seal the deal. Well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. sharp on Saturday. Sure thing, neighbor. Joseph starts walking away, but stops to think for a second and turns around. <sighs> hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister at a church down the street. Oh, I don't know. I really wouldn't consider myself a youth. Yeah. You look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. And with that, Joseph's gone. <laughs> don't think I didn't notice that flirty little line of yours, Joseph. I've got my eyes on you, darling. He seemed nice. Amanda walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face and a cookie in hand. That was the smoothest recover I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. See, you're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? They're gone. I'm sorry. If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyway? <laughs> I guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? Hmm. Let's hit the park down the road. I saw a ton of dogs there when we drove past. Okay. Will you help me steal a dog? For the last time, I can't fit a dog into the pockets of my cargo shorts. It's physically impossible. Although I could fit it into my robot form. You're breaking my heart, Pops. It's okay if you don't come in first. Just make sure you have health insurance. Amanda and I begin to stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the street, the flowers are in bloom, and the faint smell of a nearby barbecue drifts through the air. This place is nice. Mm. Too nice. I don't trust it. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in that stroller over there? Government operative. Mm. We're on to you, baby. <laughs> we walk for a while and eventually end up at a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground, and dogs of all shapes and sizes romp through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but a man spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over to it when... Heads up! Ow! A frisbee suddenly hits me in the face! Ugh. I swear, whoever threw that frisbee is seriously going to get a letter from my agent! Ah. Uh. A corgi with a neat plaid handkerchief tied around its neck bounds up to me, wagging its tail. He runs around in a circle and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog I've ever seen! Can I help you? You definitely could have caught that. A guy in a Hawaiian shirt jogs over to us and takes the frisbee from me. Ooh. My, what a husky gentleman you are. I gotta say, I love your use of the green Hawaiian shirt. It goes well with those brown pants of yours. Although, those could be khakis. They look nice. You know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands, not your face. 
But I'm fine, thanks. Uh. <laughs> I'm just messing with ya. I'm Brian, by the way. I'm Metaton, and this is my daughter, Amanda. I look over at Amanda, only to find her sitting on the ground, rubbing the dog's tummy. Hi. Hmm. Your dog's cool. <laughs> Old Maxwell sure loves the attention. It's great to see another father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. Where's yours? Brian just just over to a grassy knoll where a young girl sits on a checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads on uh, over to us. This is Daisy. She's reading the Brothers Karamas. Oh gosh, the Brothers Karamasov. Her teacher tells her that she has the reading comprehension skills of a high schooler. How old is she? Ten. She's a precocious little youngster. Well. Oh. My natural dad instincts kick in. I must brag about my child's accomplishments. Oh no, it's happening. What the? Oh my. Go on, Daisy. Tell them about yourself. Um, I... That's my girl! Amanda, get in there! Okay, okay. What? Is this supposed to be a Pokemon reference? Well then, uh, things certainly got interesting. Okay, so let's try bragging. Amanda here just recently won a local photography award. Wow, congratulations! Brian loses 10 HP. <laughs> Doesn't matter what game I play, I aim to win, darling. Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. Oh! Trapped! That was a good one! 15 HP lost. Shoot! He's five points ahead of me. Ooh, what's this gonna do? Can't switch daughters, Amanda's your lady. Oh, I didn't mean to try to switch them! My bad! Let's brag again. Last week, unprompted, Amanda helped an old woman with her grocery bags. It's extra powerful! Brian tosses 20 HP into the wind. <laughs> Take that, you husky gentleman. <laughs> Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. She's the president too, of course. Dang, my school, my high school doesn't have a chess club or a computer lab. <laughs> 10 HP, I hit you with 20. You've got nothing on me, sweetheart. All right, now I'm the lead. Let's see what sort of items we have. Ooh, grade card would come in handy. You pull a wrinkled copy of Amanda's last grade card out of your back pocket. Dad. Awesome grades. Brian loses 25 HP. I'm about to win, darling. You really carry that around everywhere? Oh! That kind of was a little weird in retrospect. I'll take the five. Daisy sold enough candy bars this year to get the top prize, a canoe! We're taking it out next weekend. How is that even possible? Amanda could barely get one of those sticky hand things. It's extra powerful. Oh! Oh. We're pretty evenly matched here. All right. Time to pull out the big guns. Spelling bee photographs. Fumbling through your phone's browser, you managed to pull up a photo of Amanda winning her 10th grade spelling bee. Wow! Congratulations, Amanda! Daisy's getting prepped for her annual spelling bee right now! Hopefully this will be her third win in a row! Oh! You've got to be kidding! That backfired! Did I mention Daisy said her first word at 10 months? Daddy! Amanda's was potty. Still cute, but maybe this isn't the time to bring it up. Oh! 10 HP! Oh, come on. Really gotta bring out the big guns this time. Oh, crud. Can I go back? Oh, crud. No, I can't. All right, uh, child art? You unfurl your wallet to reveal a tiny copy of a drawing of a cornucopia Amanda did in the first grade. Cute! It isn't very impressive, but Amanda genuinely appreciates you holding on to it. Brian loses 10 HP. Oh, yeah, darling! 20 HP back in action! Daisy here has all of her adult teeth. Never had a cavity either. Amanda self-consciously pushes her lips together to hide her teeth. Oh no, I just lost the 20 health I got back! Alright, we're evenly matched. Hopefully this brag will do it! Ah, oh, Amanda's in all honor classes this semester! Prime's 10 HP. Alright, one more hit and that should do it. 
Oh, really? I'm actually talking to Daisy's teachers about having her skip a grade. Even Amanda kind of bristles at that one. Oh, I lost! Dang, he's really got us beat. Boy, it's been such a treat getting to meet you two. Oh, did he have to add insult to injury by being such a gracious winner? Oh, he's so nice! I can't! So, I take it you guys are new to the neighborhood? We just moved in. Do you live around here? Oh. <laughs> yeah, we live in the cul-de-sac next to the coffee shop. What a coincidence. That's where we live, too. Small world, yeah? Daisy and I are in that little ranch-style house on the corner. I know that house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscaped. Does this guy have to outdo me at everything? Oh, Brian. I know that you're a potential date option, but you have just become my rival, darling. I will make sure to take down your husky beard, as well as that husky frame. Mm. I must admit, these men are quite good looking. However, as good looking as they are, I am a faithful husband to my darling Papyrus. I mean, who could do better? What a lovely place. Uh, well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. You'll have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Brian and Daisy walk further into the park with Maxwell happily trotting in tow. <sighs> Do you get the feeling that he was trying to one-up us? Hmm. Trying and succeeding. I can't believe that kid's only ten. What was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe you had a bit of a thing for horses. Shame that didn't pan out. Could have majored in comparative horse studies. It's not too late to minor in horse creative writing. Too close to the truth, Dad. Aww. Let us never speak of the fantastic adventures of Sir Horsington on the brave and epic in seven parts by Amanda Dreamer. <laughs> we laugh off the horse epic and walk around the park a bit more, enjoying the day. Oh, all this sunlight is making me real tired. I don't think I got enough sleep last night. You slept 14 hours. Exactly. Beauty sleep is important after all. Drinking too much water can cause water intoxication. As a a cyborg. Oh, this has certainly been entertaining, to say the least. I think I'm going to call it here for the moment. I mean, we don't want to spoil everything now, do we? So, thank you, darlings, so much for watching through this first episode of Dream Daddy. If you enjoyed it and would love to see more, please leave a like and a comment in the boxes below. And let me know, who would you like to see Metaton hook up with? Obviously, I'm taken, but in a dating simulator, it's all open, so let me know who you think I should go with. Also, be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you know when Metaton's hunting for those delicious daddies. <laughs> also, be sure to share this video around. I know people really like this particular game and, well, who better to play it than yours truly? And with that said, this has been the fabulous Metaton, and I'll see you next time, darlings.